Hello, everyone. Well, how do Oh, there's a lot of energy nice. this early on the Saturday morning. Not from me, so that was a lot to take uh, in. Happy Saturday, everybody. Anyways, happy Saturday, everyone, and welcome to What's Sold Saturday for the week of the 8th through the 14th. I was mm -hmm. gonna start off by saying if we, or I guess at least me, seem low in energy, it's because my allergies have been kicking my butt. They have been kicking Ryan's, but apparently maybe that wore off today. A mustard, just, just enough. Just the slightest. Just energy. enough. But yeah. no, everything is in bloom, which is wonderful and beautiful and amazing, but yeah. like, it's not good for my, it's not good for anything here. Plus, plus it has been super, super freaking nice out all week. Mm -hmm. So we have, especially me, have been busy outside doing all kinds of patio, lawn, deck, trees, plants, grass work in our house. So I'm just like all kinds of worn out. So if mm -hmm. I'm a little low on energy, that might be why, but I'm it's gonna try my best. Week. It's yes. been a very busy week. This next week is gonna be much colder. So I'll be able to get right back into like actual Work, mm -hmm. work, probably, instead of housework, which, pros and cons. <laughs> we do have a lot of boxes we need to throw away. Yes. Nice. But, but this is What's Old Saturday. Yes. Before we get into What's Old Saturday, I do have kind of a rambly long intro for you guys to just discuss some things, do some housekeeping, and talk about some of the, like, future content for the channel and just future things going on. Since this one's going to be probably a bit longer than usual, a longer chit-chat, right here, Editing Jack should be putting in a time stamp or a time of the video that you can skip to if you mm -hmm. don't really want to hear me just like blah 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 because we're going to talk about future videos we're going to do kind of some new like series we might try we're going to talk about i had like a poll run we're going to talk about that so mm -hmm. just a little like we discussing got some stuff to talk because we're going to have like some very slight changes coming so if you just don't really care that much you can skip here and right at this time is going to be a debbie clip going in yeah. very close to this time. Debbie's coming up in this video as well. Anyway, so for everybody that's still here, thank you to anybody that participated uh, in the polls that yes. we posted to a community post on the channel. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that popped up for everybody because I don't really know how those kind of work. I think if you just go to your YouTube subscriptions feed on like a computer, they pop up, but I don't know how well it worked on phones and stuff. Mm -hmm. But what these polls were, I had two of them. One was the question of, what do you want to see more of from us? And it was a list of things that we do quite frequently. And then one was, what do you want to see less of? And it was, again, that exact same list. Mm -hmm. The last Bolo video, which was the handbags, we did notice has slightly underperformed some of our other recent videos. And we've actually, mm -hmm. over time, been noticing that with Bolos in general. And the thing is, Bolos for us are a lot of work to do. They are a ton of work. It's like genuinely homework assignments yeah. basically because we sit down for a couple hours and we just like research 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 write mm -hmm. it down then we film it and then editing it is actually usually quite a lot of work too because there's just so much info and there's a lot of ums and uh and it's just harder to relay info that you just learned it's it's just like it's a lot of work so for us Nothing against them, but it's not really, like, our favorite videos to make. No. And so since the views were a little lacking, too, we just wanted to check and see, is it what you guys like to watch? Because why are we doing stuff it's, that isn't both of our time. favorites? Because you know, yeah. if you asked us, our favorite things to do are, of course, hauls and thrift, thrift with, with us. us. This is, this is, Those this. are the most fun yes. for sure. And then we love What's Old Saturday, too, because mm -hmm. it's just kind of like a nice home base where we can just, like, chill it is out. Kind of like a nice chill out on the weekend. Weekend and just the chit chat, week, you know. You guys reflected our opinions yes. basically to a T. And luckily, a lot of you left comments and kind of gave actual like feedback as well with just the poll answer. Bolos by far were what people seem to think we could like reel in a little. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any kind of video we would ever completely get rid of. Like no. we will still do bolos. Yes, we I'm absolutely thinking will. we are going to just space them out a lot more. But we may just kind of like reformat them a little differently. We'll tweak them. We will yeah. still have them, but they may not look like they did. In yes. Past. Yeah, letting you into our minds. Going yeah. forward, we're kind of thinking that for each season, we will have one bolo video per season, and it will mm -hmm. be summer bolos, spring bolos, fall bolos. We won't do categories yeah. anymore. And it'll just kind of be like the top tier of 
like dresses, shoes. Yeah, it'll be like a mix handbags, of swimming sandals. Things and like that, yeah. Like so that. you get all the information still, and then we could still then like do a few extra for the Valentines. Yeah. That Wednesday, if we put them on like a Tuesday or something. Yes. So just reeling them in a little, kind of lessening them. Because yeah. again, like if it's not the funnest for us, and you guys just like would rather see something else, then why don't we just do Let's something just else? Let's do what you want to do. Speaking of doing more of stuff, the second poll, which was what do you guys want to see more of, by far, it was thrift with us and in second place was hauls of course like i said these are all options of things we've already done in the past so we would love to do some new things too which mm -hmm. i didn't make as options but we would like to continue doing and, and maybe even amp up the thrift I with us love thrift with we us. just every once in a while feel like we do them too frequently and that's when we try to take a break from them but again like if it's what you guys like to see we should stick to keeping them more regular exactly. on the channel exactly besides the content whatever you want to call it, the videos that we do and have done in the past we do have quite a few ideas for new we have things many ideas and we are kind of imagining this summer probably about like mid-may when ryan's mm -hmm. done with this year of school mm -hmm. doing a slight kind of like twist and going back to what i feel like we used to do where we would sprinkle in new video concepts that we had never done before like how yeah. we've done calls of stuff to consign i did the 50 dollars into 500 consignment situation yeah. mm -hmm. we have we've just we've done other things more frequently in the past and yeah. so just a couple of like ideas that we have some of them i'm gonna like keep secret because i'm just like excited and they'll be like a surprise when they pop up i also asked on instagram anyone could submit new ideas if they mm -hmm. had them and so some of those are from there and then some are totally just like my own ideas but we would love Love to do maybe another 50 to 500 at some oh, point in the future i think this summer that seems like it might we be. might do like a 100 one, to a thousand in a week and it'll be both of us that'll be so much fun people brought up doing speed thrift challenges where we only can spend like an hour in the thrift store which actually probably would work better with ryan's schedule currently that would be really fun i would like to do the garage sale series when we have a garage sale in june or july which would be like three parts the first part would be me kind of going over what we're selling in it or kind of a haul the part two would be like like a vlog of the actual day or weekend of the sale and the part three would be kind of like a conclusion was it worth it did i really make any money blah 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 maybe some like reselling beginner mistakes stuff like that people suggested yeah. possible I feel like we also haven't done anything to like bring in any of the new people i feel like every not everybody a lot of the people that watch this are like established or like they kind of have their feet under them and i feel like maybe giving some content to like the people that are just starting yeah like people that may just like see us on instagram yes. somehow and then kind of like walk over to the channel because like, a lot of you something for the newbies a lot of something you are obviously very like experienced y'all know like what us. you're doing you know what you're doing but there always are new people who are looking exactly. for and like things. we don't want to assume the new people know everything that yeah. we do because like put yourself in their shoes yes. i had no idea what bolo meant for the first like three months that i resold a couple <laughs> people brought up the idea of doing which i really like this, I've never thought about this, but a bins haul update where we actually Ooh. kind of like go through the haul, tell you what sold from one specific haul video and say kind of how much money from just that one haul we've like made and what sold best that and would stuff be really like fun. that. More arbitrage videos. So maybe like source with us at more like consignment stores like that or mm -hmm. hauls of arbitrage items. We also would just like to switch up the thrift with us and hauls and not always have them be bins. The yeah. only thing, the only reason we do that is because like that's mainly where we shop but we, we would like to switch we do go other someday. places so we may need to start not like, as frequently but places. sometimes yes yeah every now and again maybe some like thrift outfits for like ourselves some of you guys wanted some more like personal things like another day in the life or some like thrifting our own outfits or making an outfit for ourselves out of mm -hmm. thrift stuff a couple people wanted another who wears this stuff which if you have been here for a while you know what those are if you haven't been here for that long you might not know but we kind of just oh my God, they're so that's much fun. a fully comedic one where we just like talk about brands that probably have very niche customer bases and we just explain what we, we personify think, like, the tropes and traits of yes. the people that buy specific brands of clothing yes. it's kind of fun and then a really fun one this is the last one i'll give a preview to but my list is much longer than this i think doing a consigning our way to a home project goal would be Ooh. super fun so like we need gutters yes we and do. if we got money only from getting stuff at the bins, consigning it, making the money, and being mm -hmm. able to afford the gutters. 
I think that'd be really cool. So those that are some ideas. Fun. We just like need a refresh. Like, you know, we just need to like, it's just, it's kind of it extend like, our little creative tentacles. Yes, we've been in this more like seasonal rotation, kind of like with like the fashion seasons yeah. lately. And it's really fun in the fall because mm -hmm. obviously, but fall I think, content. I think we need to like break the cycle yeah. a little. Here exactly. and there. I think, like, especially coming out of Miss Janine, like, we couldn't go anywhere, so, like, we were really limited to, like, what could we kind of, like, and we got in a cycle. sit in our house and do, which is, like, seasonal stuff, because you can look information from your home, you know? And now that we can, like, really safely go back out into places, like, I think it is, That's, like, like I did the 50 and the, the time. The time has come that we finally enter back out into the world. I did the 50 and the 500 us. right before Janine, and yeah. I had plans to do them more often. You're gonna do But again. then Janine happened, and consignment stores weren't buying, and you couldn't consignment go to the bins. Consignment stores weren't open, and bins it, weren't open. So, like, that did really throw a wrench. But anyways, that's that kind of the- That wrench has been pulled. That's kind of here we go. Updates and ideas for this channel. As usual, leave any feedback or thoughts that you have below. Nothing is going to change too drastically. There's just going to be some like fun new stuff mixed in. Yeah, really. it's going to be great. So don't be don't be scared that we're like totally changing everything or anything. Mm -hmm. And for the second channel, more videos are coming. It's only yes. been a time problem not having the free time to film, but I've actually already started filming a shop with me home decor thrift home goods type It'll video but more are coming mike's birthday video is gonna go up yeah. we're gonna do a new house tour because it is totally different you than wouldn't when even you guys recognize it from the first couple of times that you saw this place oh it looks wonderful we'll probably have a hashtag feed ryan cooking at some point i think would be fun but yeah yes, all kinds of fun will. stuff it's all positive changes nobody all worry your little things. heads it's gonna be it's very okay. fun we're excited it's gonna be fun we're excited we're, we're we got really excited. jazzed about it we were on the deck last night talking Coming up about with ideas it. and stuff. Yeah, yeah and it's just like the energy just feels so much better yeah. it's gonna be so much it fun does. like a fresh start a little bit of creative licensing yes. loosening the belt as yes. they say yes okay so <laughs> this should be about where the timestamp brought anybody who skipped forward so we're gonna kick into normal <laughs> Hello, Saturday everybody. stuff and we're gonna start off with a little special note from our dearly beloved Debbie from Queen Debbie so no Debbie... she is not dearly departed <laughs> she is dearly beloved yes Debbie has a very very fun update that she wants to share with you guys mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna give it away at all but That's let's job. let's let Debbie take it away from on the scene of her house Debbie can you hear me Misty did mom have something to share? Yes, as you can see, <laughs> I have added to my new countertops, which I had saved with my posh money last year, $3,000 I think it was, and now I have resaved to finish the project and got this backsplash here, which looks like stone, but actually is smooth. That was another 1,500. Yeah. So these are, fun things that with the side money I have been able to do yes. and Jack is going to help me switch these to a bronze color which I think will just make them pop out and look lovely yes because the faucet is like a aged kind of bronze yep and I'm going to be switching these yes so the kitchen is definitely coming together quite a bit it is the sad thing is is I don't do anything in the kitchen I don't <laughs> cook I mean, I think she even somewhere has a dish towel that says this kitchen's for show. Yes. Yeah, it's something <laughs> yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But she was originally going to get like a glossy white tile in the back. The standard subway. But then she went to the store and kind of looked and just felt that it was kind of more I like warm. I really sold on the glossy white because it was white with the primer on there. And it was just like, hmm. I don't know. It just, just kind of ties it yeah. in a little nicer. And you have like warmer wood cupboards the too. The golden so. oak yes. from the 90s. Yes. Yeah. And that was like... February of last year. February of last year, we showed you guys the update on this. We kind of kept you like following along more with these. But this is kind of the surprise of the next thing that happened that's taken you about a year but like she's used her posh money for other stuff too it's oh, not like it took her a year to make that much right. it was like mm -hmm. right a year I mean, to save up that much up. extra kind sometimes of sometimes it has to pay for bills yeah Ball ring, but <laughs> like i've just tried to save above and beyond bills yeah. and then in the meantime mm -hmm. The Tyler I was going to have, suddenly I wasn't going to use that Tyler, so then I had to kind of be on the lookout for 
a new Tyler, which I put it out on nextdoor.com and mm -hmm. some company with five stars uh, so said they, they do, do it, it for their... a thousand bucks. So this is what can be done with side hustle money from Poshmark or yes. reselling or whatever. Yes, so congrats to Debbie. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> so after that fun little message from Debbie, let's all give Debbie... <laughs> Debbie I'll give Debbie an allergic reaction. Up. Yeah, let's give Debbie a little round of applause for her new backsplash. I think it looks so good. She finally, like, after I know. after two it years, that year. kitchen, well, two years counting saving up for the countertops. Oh, and yeah, the countertops to that, today. It looks much better. Looks Trust so me, better. I grew up in that freaking house. The blue countertops with the sponge wallpaper wall, not great. Not the moment. So it's been quite an update that Debbie has done there. Now I suppose we'll jump into the actual sales for the week. And I do not have anything from other platforms that I thought were of note. I had some Depop sales and I thought they were funny because they were all on two days. Okay. Before you talk about those, the Valentine VIP. Yes, absolutely. So the Valentine VIP of this week is Jeanette. So Jeanette. here is Jeanette's closet. Thank you very much, Jeanette, for being a Valentine. We so, so, so appreciate it. Thank you. Jeanette will, of course, be linked you, first below in the description. And her closet is Jeanette's. Jeanette's nearly new is what it stands for. Oh. So it's Jeanette's N-R-L-Y-N-W. But of course, again, that'll be linked Jeanette's below so you don't have to type it in. Absolutely. And here it is as well. So everybody go say hi to Jeanette. Everybody Leave her a nice love. comment. Love. Share some of her stuff and just show some love to Jeanette. Jeanette. We Absolutely. really appreciate it, Jeanette, and we appreciate all of the Valentines as usual. Thank you. But jumping into the sales week, okay, did you sales. want to show your Depop before, or are you mixing them I in? I will mix them in with the rest of my week, okay. just to make this easy. So this week is the 8th through the 14th, and a couple notes on this week. Mm -hmm. I had one very, very, very good sale once again. Otherwise, I would say that this week was nothing that special, besides this one sale. Yes. Another note that I noticed this week on Posh is I sold a handful of stuff that I've had forever. And I really? love that. I love when hmm. I can get rid of stuff. That I feel like all my stuff time. was stuff that I just got. Well, wow. interesting. So starting off on the 8th, I had two. I had five. My first sale of two, this was a very new item that I just got. Adidas 2022 printed fleece crew neck sweatshirt. This, this looks just like a Patagonia. And sure enough, it kind of performed like one. It sold super quick, sold for $29, and I get $23.20. And this I have had for like oh. two or three years, mm -hmm. and it had like 75 likes. It's because a beautiful it is stunning. piece, though. This is a Bolo brand, and it is called Rococo Sand. Mm -hmm. It has like simmered down a little in popularity, so I would still probably pay like 40 or under. If I found a good one, I'd pay 50. Whereas in the it. past, I would have paid like 100. But now I'd maybe do like, yeah, 50, 40 or under. Mm -hmm. This sold for $190. It was the Metallic Midnight Moonlight dress. Oh. Beautiful. And I get 152. I one time had a Rococo Sand dress that was like long sleeves with just embroidered stars all over it. it oh, was yeah. So beautiful. I do very like, that. Mm -hmm. they make kind of like Coachella esque. It's very Coachella. And stuff. It's very Coachella. Yeah. Okay. My first one on the 8th, which are all Poshmark, by the way, was this Torrid Black Floral Lace High Low Maxi Tank Top, which was from one of the Vince Halls recently. This sold for $27, and I get eighteen sixty-two. That I liked It was a lot. super cute. So cute. Then I sold this Smashing Pumpkins Siamese Dream Little Band T-Shirt. I love this band so much. It sold for $15, and I make 12 Then I sold this Disney and Lounge Fly, which was from my own personal collection. And it kills me to get rid of a Disney backpack, but I am not kidding when I say I have, like, eight, and I need to not have that many. Like, yeah. that's an obsessive amount of backpacks. Before for one game, right? each so. of Ryan's Disney trips, he's like, I need a whole new wardrobe of Disney. And so he'll literally, like, it'll be every day a backpack or at least, or maybe even two of them arriving at the house. Something like, something comes quite often when yeah. I have a Disney trip on the books. So I now that I've like given my joy to them, like I can hopefully give them to somebody else. Well, and usually <laughs> the, nice the, thing, the nice thing I'll say about them is that usually you can basically get back all your money. That is least. very true, which is very true for this one. So I got this at the Lovely Turnstile, one of my favorite little local consignment stores, for $16. And I priced it at 50 and I sent out 40 with discount shipping and she accepted it. So I make a twenty nine oh two. Actually very cute. It was really cute. I, oh, I have so many good ones. It's so hard to let them go. It's like letting go of a child. Then I saw... And sometimes you just have to. Sometimes you just... Uh, <laughs> Goodbye, my son. And did this one to the lovely Miss Allie. So this is um, a point of controversy. So last week in the Bint Hall, when I found another Nordic beach, and I said I think the other one went to Iowa, I was a liar. I was wrong. It went to Allie, and she lives in Colorado. Oh, did Not... she buy the other one? No, she bought this one. Oh, so This oh, is oh, the oh, one oh. that I was talking about oh, in the Bint Hall oh, when oh, I said oh. that I sold one. 
And then we wore it on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is that moment. So Miss Allie bought herself a wonderfully comfortable, cozy Nordic Beach Sherpa fleece tan wrap, which I do have another one if you would like one. She got it for 40 bucks, and she left me a lovely little note. So thank you, Miss Allie. Much appreciated. Then I sold this Anthropology Maeve Valencia gray, a little short sleeve t-shirt. This is super cute. I think Valencia is some kind of peach. Or oh, pear. That isn't does, that Valencia peaches? Or, that does sound extremely some kind of apple. familiar. It's a fruit. We got a pear tree now. Yes, we do have a pear tree now. We just need a partridge. I know. I actually, around Christmas, I want to buy like a fake partridge and just go I out wanna in the snow and like I want to get one of those like, like really tacky like old lady fake birds that's like neon blue <laughs> and just like a partridge in a pear tree. Anyway, this was a really cute little gray fruit graphic t-shirt. I sold for $34 and I make $27.20. And that is it for my eighth. On the ninth, I had four. I had four. Four. I had two Poshmark and three Depop. And my first set went to Melanie. So hello, Melanie. Melanie. And thank you very much for shopping my closet. She has purchased for me a handful of times, so I do really appreciate it. Love she that. got the super cute Urban Outfitters Nikki Jacquard flare trousers. Oh, and luckily love. she said they're even more beautiful in person than on the video. So I'm so happy to hear that. She got them for 30 and I get 24. And I did really like those. And I am not a huge urban seller. I love Urban Outfitters but anybody with ears knows that. <laughs> yeah, everybody here knows. And I sold this Hot Topic Nature's Magic Moon Witchy Tank Top, and this went to The Wishing Clock, and I could not find her actual name, because she didn't leave cool it- name, She didn't leave it in her love note. She just said, a spooky loving viewer, which I do love. Oh, and right. then I didn't have the email with her label anymore. So thank you to the spooky loving spooky mystery viewer. Spooky loving mystery. She got this for 20 and I get 16 and I really appreciate it. Super cute. Then I sold a bundle to Melody. <laughs> so we had a Melanie and we have a Melody. And this time it's Melody. So Melody bought a bundle and she said she's a new mama. And so Aww, she treated herself nice. to this bundle, which is so cute. Good for you, queen. She Treat got yourself. this Zaya pair of hot pink leopard high rise leggings. <gasps> Very Barbie core. Please wear them to the Barbie video or the Barbie movie premiere. I'm so excited. These for that are movie. adorable. I cannot wait. I'm not a big movie it's... person. Mario, that Come movie on, was however, we did so that movie. freaking that movie was good. Like. Period. It was so <laughs> And good. Barbie, I'm so excited to see too. And there's that new vampire Nicolas Cage one, which also looks good. And I never The world is finally taking a reset and going back to like good movies. <laughs> yeah, talk um, about a reset of good content. Yeah. The movie theaters. The, mo the, the movies. movies. The movies. <laughs> Anyways. Then I also <laughs> sold her this Free People Boho embroidered long sleeve dress <laughs> and this vineyard. Vineyard vine. It's vine. been a while since I've seen that. not said that in a minute. Fireworks seersucker dress. So cute. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Wrong song. Isn't, Isn't that, that firework? Is? Oh no, that is the No, intro. that is. That's the beginning. Why did I think Katy Perry had a song literally called Plastic Bag? <laughs> I would love that <laughs> if she re-released just the intro. So Melody anyway. got this bundle for 90 and I get 72. So Melody, Melody I do appreciate it. Thank you it. for putting up with my sidetracks. Then I sold this pair of A brand Ariane low rise boot cut 90s jeans. Sold for 50, I get 37.02. So there is A brand, A mm -hmm. new day, and A day. And don't mix them up because they're all very, 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 very different. And sold at very, very different places yes. and garner very, very different prices. Yes. Quite that weird. was it for my night. Okay, my first of the night went to the lovely Miss Melanie. The same Melanie oh. conveniently from Jack's just Interesting. video. Just Jack's video. video. See, this is Not the allergy video is brain over. fog is unfortunately what we are suffering from today. Jack's day. Video. Oh, Jack's video. <laughs> Yeah. She bought this really adorable Y2K boho patchwork little crossbody bag. This was so cute. Such, speaking of like Coachella dresses, a little boho bag. How cute, adorable. Yeah. And then she got this really cute Spanx star sculpting high waist brief for $55 and I will make 44. Thank you, Miss Melanie. And then I saw this pair of Fry black leather Veronica silver harness boots. These, I got at a Savers. They were very mismarked. They were only $5, which was amazing. So I sold them for $39, and I make $28.22. I don't know. My fry boots just haven't been, like, doing the greatest for me. But, like, when I see them for $5, i am not going to not buy them. Yeah. But, like, mm, I feel like this would have been, like, a $60, $70 fry, sale, like, back in the day. Fry has almost become, like, a bins only vibe. Yeah. I think bins it, it, are, like, must be, it must be oversaturation or it something. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be. And then on Beep Up, I sold three wonderful things. The first of which was this cactus black mesh balloon sleeve Swiss dot top. 
This sold for twenty three dollars, and then I sold. <laughs> and then I sold this. Um, was boosted, so I don't know what that means. I, if that was something I did, or if that was something Depop did. But Depop when I sold keeps, it, it said boosted. Depop just keeps all your profits, and yeah, it kind of seems that way. So like, <laughs> thanks, guys. This Massimo light washed Y two K micro mini distressed raw hem jean skirt sold full price for twenty four dollars. And then last on the ninth on Depop was this vintage 80s black front button genuine leather biker short, medium large, sold for $55. On the 10th, I only had one. I had five. And it was from my own personal collection, and it was this pair of Lulu, Lulu, Lemon, Lulu, men's Lulu. frosted rose line shorts. I did really love these, and I used them for many years. Mm -hmm. I have definitely got you my had those for a long those. time. I was mainly keeping them because I have a Lululemon crossbody that matches and I have a Lululemon shirt that matches. So it was all kinds of frosted rows. And I finally decided it was time to cut ties. So they sold for 30 and I get 24. And maybe I should list that bag. Now that I'm thinking should. about it. Mm -hmm. I have not used that in forever. Years. Probably pre Janine with that one. So maybe and it's in the closet somewhere. Yeah, it's very in some closet, which it's is pretty. Crazy. It is really cute. My first on the tenth was this DKNY vintage green lace mesh Y2K. Tank top, my little Y2K tank tops. Oh gosh. Sold for $18. It's gonna be the new thing. <laughs> little, little Y2K, Y2K tank top. Tank top. Sold for eighteen dollars, and I make fourteen forty. And then this vintage nineteen seventies batik orange floral applique dress sold for thirty dollars, and I will make twenty four. This was beautiful. It was so pretty. Then I sold this coach and Andy Warhol, which came from my own personal collection. I just don't have anything that I can like fit in this little thing. I just have too much stuff, and I never really use it that much. So like, pass it along. It sold really quickly for sixty five dollars, and I will make fifty two. Then I sold something else from my personal collection that I found in the bin. Collection. 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 That I like wore. a Shein collection. My collection. My collection. Don't turn that into a thing, because don't collect Shein. If you put that on TikTok, I'm going to see it. <laughs> don't collect Shein. Thank you. Unless it's thrifted. This was just like a brand new Melville hoodie that I wore once to school, and I never really wore it again. I sold for $20, and I make $13.02. So, like, easy. That's okay. It's all gone. And then something else in my own personal collection was this Harley Davidson Vintage 90s neon logo t-shirt. I absolutely loved this, but there was a hole right here on the shoulder. And whenever I would wear like a bag or a backpack, it would like rub and it was really annoying. Um, So I never wore it. And it sold for $30 and I will make $24. And then my last on the 10th was also something from my own personal collection. Click. If you can't tell, yeah. we're going through our closets. Yes, I sold so much of my stuff. Was this pair of Cinnamon Toast Crunch X Crocs. <laughs> I bought these on a whim. I entered into the lottery thing that you can do for Crocs now, apparently, and I had no idea that I won until I showed up at my door. And I was like, oh, okay, awesome. I wore them once, and I was like, Ryan, be for real. When are you ever going to wear these ever again? <laughs> they smelled like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, though, which was kind of fun. Um, but they sold very quickly to some lovely other human being. Who paid seventy dollars for a pair of Crocs, and I will make fifty six. I think I, I got them for like. Could have got more. They really didn't sell for that much. Everybody has them on well, like Stock X for like one hundred and eighty dollars. But that's say, people have them posted. I will Those say aren't sold. the goopery and the weird thing I've noticed with Crocs and they're like little secret collabs you have to enter to win. As soon as like they announce the winners, then they just sell them normally. Yeah, so they like they, I won. Buy them on the website I now, won the sure. Crocs Pleasures collaboration, which is glow in the dark skeleton feet, which I love, love them. No he regrets them all at the time. all. But like then after I won, I felt so special, and then I saw you could just buy them from Crocs. Yeah, I was like, like oh. what was the point? Okay, but I'm not out any what money. What was the reason? What was the reason? My kids got a fun laugh at school, so like you know, potato potato, everybody wins, and somebody gets a new pair of shoes. On the eleventh, I had three. I had one. So my three sales. The first two are like the. And then the third one's like the boom bang finale. So <laughs> my first sale was this Aritzia Levi's pair of high rise straight leg jeans, and these sold for forty two, and I get thirty three sixty. Still love selling Levi's. It's just that we don't pay up for them no. anymore. But no, certain styles and stuff, yeah, I still like mm -hmm. too. Every now and again, I might consider paying up for a pair. Then I sold this pair. Or this pair. Then I sold this free people embellished bead sequin little clutch. This was a bins find. It was so light, and it did have a pen mark. So this mm -hmm. sold for fourteen, and I get eleven oh five. But it's just hard to skip any free people at the bins, honestly. Yeah, especially if it was in like decent condition. And last for this day, for this Here day, for the 11th, uh, I sold this arbitrage find of Christian Dior 2023 Star Toile, Toile printed denim jacket. This sold 
for $1,430. So in the past like two weeks, I've creamed my highest record times three. Cause I think oh, yeah. my old highest mm -hmm. record was, well, my old highest record might've been the Burberry fur one and that might've been 1500. That was so 16, this is a very 15. close. She follows the ring below. But I've had that... like my first, second and fourth highest sale in the past quarter at least. Dang. Uh, so I get $1,144. This, this was a big pay up, obviously, to mm -hmm. get this. I just looked it up when I saw it, and it's from 2023. Like, it's on Dior's website right now. <laughs> I would now. like to remind everybody that it is April. We are four <laughs> months into this year. I absolutely hopped on it. I paid over $300 for sure for it. I think it, you remember saying it was like 350 Totally worth it. Something like that. Totally yeah. worth it. I knew I knew I listed I, a grand. I think Absolutely. I had it listed at like 1785 cuz as with everything from Dior, the retail is just ridiculous. Oh like this probably it's retails so for like $4500. So, oh, that makes me nervous. If I, if I can give somebody a good deal on a getting deal. like 75% off the retail price, it sounds like a deal to me. Sure. Absolutely. So that was great. Okay. That was, my, that was good. That was fun. That was, was good. Okay. That was like a really good thing. <laughs> that was like a That was like sale. a little treat. Yeah. My one and only on the 11th was also a little treat. It was this Free People Extra Tropical Strawberry. Extra Tropical. Extra Tropical was the name the of this dress. The new flavor of Popsicle. I have sold this dress in two or three other colors, I think. So if you find them, it's this like one specific maxi style of Free People. They do quite well. This one sold for $88. I make 64 I bought this at Turnstile for 11 And I love Love when they price their free people maxi dresses at 14 and then they do 20% off. And then I get them for $11 and I mm -hmm. love them. 64 bucks. Minus 11, 50 something. 64 skins! My old boss used to say doll hairs. Oh. My dad sometimes says doll. She'd go, hairs. how many doll hairs? The amount of ways <laughs> that some people say dollars. Oh, Buckaroos, bucks, bit skins. Skin, Jim. Mm mm. Dang, man. Like, Let's have a moment of silence. <laughs> Anyways, that was a tangent I did. That, that was a tough one. That was a toughie. On the 12th, I had five. This was my most quantity-wise sale day. Deuces. My first sale was my final pair of these Anthropology Dolce Vita Priana leather sandals. Sold for 45 I get $33.98. Then I sold this Rails Ingrid Star Embroidered Chambray Top. I would have loved to get more for this. But the mm -hmm. Star Embroidery was so light, you could hardly tell. In the pictures, it did not show up well. Like, you probably can't even tell. But this sold for 30 and I get 24 If it was, like, thicker, more mm -hmm. pop-in-your-face stars, I would have wanted more. Then I sold this Garnet Hill Cotton Gauze Long Maxi Dress for 30 and I get 24 as well. Then I sold this Athleta Rock Springs Quilted Puffer Zip Vest for 27 and I did 1958. I did 1958. I got 1958. This thing did so good on Ricari. I cannot believe it didn't sell there. Like, the amount of freaking likes and messages and everything. And why? Athleta why? and Mercari. Who would have thunk it? And my last on the 12th went to one of you, and it went to Alexandria. And Alexandria has some fantastic freaking taste, not yes, only for does. the brand, but also for the pattern on it. So it was this pair of Moschino Super Mario printed mushroom espadrille flats. Oh, so cute. They sold to her for 150 I will say I had them listed at like 350 plus and I get 120, mm -hmm. but I've had them for like a while and she just left the like nicest comments saying that she'd like treasure them and stuff. Yeah. And like, also she's a viewer. So like, I just wanted to give her like a great deal. So I'm super, super happy she got them and that she's going to treasure them. That just makes yes. me so happy. And I told her to go to the Mario movie wearing them. It's such a good movie. Such a, oh movie. my God, it's if amazing. If you can't tell by now. It's so good. We recommend going to the Mario movie. Go to the Mario movie. movie. Like Ryan's not even a huge Mario person. No. And he was like crying from the like, I nostalgia. I am the biggest like simp I when it comes cried. to like I anything did. reflecting my childhood I, because I'm like, oh my God, I'm old. I did almost cry. I think 25 this year, everybody. Yeah. <gasps> I, I think starting. it's not a spoiler so I can say it, but there's just one scene where they show Mario and Luigi when they were babies and... Oh my the god. Tissue box. It's like this. Get the tissue thing box. Ever. I'm not gonna say anything about like what happens or whatever, but it's just like <laughs> tough, man. <sighs> it's tough. <laughs> oh okay. My first of the one. weirdest looking two I've ever seen in my life. What do we think, audience? Did you erase the bottom of a three? No. It's a two. One, two. 
Anyway. One, two, three, four, five. Right, yeah, yeah. Anyway, my first one that's brought was this Leslie Evers, which is a new, I'm thinking like bread and butter bolo for me. She's a linen company. I don't know where she's really sold that much, but her stuff was pretty popular. And I listed this at 50 and it sold at 40 with discount shipping. So I made 29.02 and it was the Brooklyn tunic in this like really cute green and blue like atomic print that I sold so something I did sell from my archives Sundance canary yellow medallion lace long sleeve blouse it sold for $28 I make $19.42 and on the 13th I only had one I had one on Poshmark and then four on Depot my one sale was this anthropology endless rose periwinkle sweater and it sold for $23 and I get $16.38 yeah I love the color and it was in really good shape my first on the 13th which was Poshmark was this pair of Steve Madden parakeet green square heel square toed little chunky 70s mules these were adorable Sold for fifty dollars. I make forty. And then, I hope that that was the whole title you actually had typed out. Little chunky square, little little those little those little, little square little mule chunky. tie square chunky heel somethings or others. You just did a voice to. <laughs> it was just like a conscious, like a thought consciousness. Siri, title it. Um, Steve Madden, <laughs> chunky green. Are those square? Square. <laughs> That's exactly what I would have done. And then on Depop, I sold this vintage 80s vibrant pro spirit abstract print baggy colored shirt for $24. Then I sold this vintage 80s rainbow multicolor disco hippie maxi skirt, sold for $18. Duh, I know, it was really cute. Then I sold this Rolling Stones vintage 2007 multicolored lips logo canvas tote bag. Thank you. Sold for $24. And then I sold this North Face chocolate brown Denali Elise full zip jacket sold for $30. Then on the last day of what sold Saturday, I know this has been a long one, so it it's has still been a hot here. One. It's Thank been a you. Long one. On the 14th, I had two. I had none. Oh. What a finale. I know. So my first sale was a very out of the box, like out of my comfort zone item that I normally wouldn't pick up. And it was this Kaniki. Hey, Nikki, you're so fun. You're so fun. You blow my um, hey, Kaniki mesh Y2K 90s tanning one piece swimsuit. I don't sell swim. I don't sell much vintage Y2K, and I'd never heard of this brand. So it was very, like, Perfect. not something I'd normally do. But with the square neckline, with the leopard print, having mm -hmm. it be mesh, Adorable. super trendy, it sold for my full asking price of 40 and I get 32 so that's great. And so Kaniki's the brand, and they make mesh swimsuits, and you can, like, tan through them, is the dealio. Which is super nice. I had never heard of that. And my last sale of the week was an old piece from my closet i think that if i had never like reposted it this would be the absolute oldest item i had <laughs> Derek lamb 10 crosby sleeveless grommet jumpsuit and this is back this is how old this is this is back when like i thought it was good to get Derek lamb 10 crosby years ago <laughs> like this is back in the like current elliot mm -mm. like 3.1 philip limb days <sighs> where like that's amazing. what you'd pay up for yeah Whew. sold for 30 and i get 24 i will say i still remember i paid 10 so i still made money it just took me like seven years to get those fourteen dollars. You know what? I got two dollars a year. That is hard earned money. That is a hard earned oh, money. Oh gosh. So that's it for the sales this week. But my gross for the week very, very heavily because of that Christian Dior jacket. Absolutely. Was twenty three hundred dollars. Mine for Poshmark was six hundred and eighty one. And my no I don't know how to zo do zoom in yet where it like follows my head. Uh, if you know how to edit, please tell us something. No, I just need to get better editing software. <laughs> wah, wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> was 1840. Mine for Poshmark was 544.80 and, and mine for Depop was $198. Nice. That's nice. nice. So anyway. that is all. That's all. After those like this hours. This is kind of a rambly of... one, but we kind of needed to have yes, a rambly one. This today. was like a very yes. necessary kind of. It was like we all sit down at the family table and we just like talk. And we all just kind of like. It was like a family <sighs> meeting in the beginning. You kind of take your little head belt off a little bit and everything yeah. kind of floats out. That's how I felt like. I felt like this whole process was very like the families all coming together to kind of discuss. Talking about Because I the wanted table. you guys' input, Absolutely. then I wanted to give our input, and I kind of wanted to like mix it together. And it seems like it's all going to look. It's I gone. think. I think we have Wonderful. a deal huh yeah so, anyways that's all that we have for you guys this week but look forward to seeing a thrift with me mm -hmm. on tuesday i'm going to the bins on monday i'm going to film a thrift with me at the bins and actually then ryan and i are going on tuesday to the bins together and we're also going to film a thrift with us 
that'll be like saved for probably either the next week or the week after. Yeah. But it gets confusing. Then Thursday is going to be the haul from both of us. So you will see Ryan on Thursday for a Ben's haul and he will be going this week, but I'll be on the Monday through with us. If that okay. makes sense. So that's, It'll what, be more that's what's later. coming up that's and okay. we will see you guys. I will see you guys on Tuesday and we will see you guys on Thursday. Goodbye. Bye.